the meaningful thing about this was that these people took the time to set this up. The people came before me with the same situation. They shared. I shared. I've never shared. Because I thought that there was no way anybody could understand. What I didn't know was that there was someone like me here. Practically in the same shoes, in the same walk, on the same path, with the same problems, with the same everything. The only problem is, is I didn't reach out. Came down here in, in December of 2012, and sitting in that classroom, I, I realized how badly I needed to be here. If, if I didn't come here and if something didn't change drastic, drastically in my life, I would either be dead or in prison right now. When I first found out about the program, I was a little hesitant to come. My life was spiraling out of control. I came here. The program not only saved, saved my life, it saved my marriage. I'm now on uh, 24 years of marriage. I've, I've graduated from college. Uh, I've bought my first house. For me, I found my success here. I came here not knowing how I was going to go on living. I didn't have a path. I didn't have a direction. I've regained a sense of self. I've regained a sense of purpose. And uh, I've, I've regained, I feel like I've regained the strength that I, I've always had, that I always knew I had, but it's been lost for a long time. I got a whole new life out of the program. I had fallen off my ship and I had no, had no life raft and I had no life preserver. The focus has been that life preserver. They've actually changed my life, changed my life, changed me physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I'm, I'm a whole new person than what I was when I got out. We've been doing this since March of 11. We've helped over 700 Marines and other servicemen. A lot of success stories are coming out of this. Guys that went through early on are still talking about how it changed their life. Coming here is that opportunity to self-examine. It's the opportunity to say what you feel um, without fear of judgment and repercussions. Some of my concerns and apprehensions to coming here, it was something new. I'd never done anything like this before. Never even heard of the Focus Marine Foundation. Um, you hear lip service all the time around the VA, you know, people doing things for veterans. There's a program here, there's a program there. I've been to quite a few programs, and uh, for the most part, it is, uh, it's almost just that lip service coming here. Uh, it's, it's, it's not that. Uh, the people here care. The, uh, the material is uh, it's specific and it's geared toward the combat veteran. Uh, it's, it's something like I've never experienced before. The property is stunning and it allows you to just kind of let go of everything and you know not worry about stuff back at home. I personally describe this place as hollow ground. There's so much legacy to our Marine Corps that this is part of it now in my eyes. This is where giants have come and left their packs. And it's just a place of healing. It's a place to leave, leave the ghosts of the past behind. A lot of these guys got a lot of baggage and it gives them a chance to, to, to leave that baggage here. You didn't become a Marine by yourself. You became a Marine with the help of others. You work and survive with the Marine on your left and the Marine on your right. There's no reason you need to do that at home by yourself. So Focus Marine Foundation is there to remind the Marines of that. People coming through the program have fallen down. We've all fallen down. If you're having trouble getting up, as everybody does at some point in their life, there's a team around you to help you get back on your feet. If you're a veteran having issues at home or in your job, whatever area of your life you're having issues in, the first thing you have to do is get off your behind and realize you need help and then reach, reach out and get that help. We are one phone call away. We are one website click away. You have to take that first step. You have to be willing to take that first step forward and ask for help. Once you ask, we'll be all over it. But you have to make that first step. You have to step up and make that call. This is a place where you're gonna be surrounded by people that understand you. People like me, people like you, people like us.